In our previous video, we covered seven essential settings for safely flying indoors. Definitely be sure to check that video out if you haven't seen it already. In this video, we are going over nine tips and tricks for flying indoors, including what to consider before you take off and while you're in the air, the best intelligent flight modes to use, and one neat trick nobody seems to be talking about. Tip number one is to get prop guards. These are an affordable investment and are essential for flying indoors. Not only will they help keep your drone safe, but they will also protect any walls, equipment, or furniture the drone may crash into. Tip number two is to scan your environment. Know where obstacles are, account for air movements, and familiarize yourself with the area. Building off of that, plan your flight route in advance. Know where you are going to take off and land, and know any obstacles you may need to be careful of while you're in the air. Minimize the time you're in the air to reduce the likelihood of crashing into an obstacle. Tip number three, take off manually. This gives you more control of your drone and allows you to perform a nice gradual takeoff. Your hands will also already be on the control sticks so you can react quickly and perform any adjustments if you need to. Tip number four, keep a safe distance between your drone and the ceiling. If you get too close, the force of the propellers can actually suck the drone into the ceiling, causing it to crash. Maintain a safe distance of around two to three feet to prevent this from happening. Tip number five, fly slow and controlled. Slower movements make it easier to control your drone, give you more time to react, and help your footage look nice and smooth. Adjusting your expo and sensitivity settings, like we explained in the previous video, really help with this, along with tip number six, using tripod mode. We made a whole video about this intelligent flight mode, which you can check out for more information. Tripod mode is the only intelligent flight mode that limits your maximum speed, along with reducing your sensitivity, making it perfect for indoor flying. Using tripod mode helps get those slow, smooth shots you're looking for while giving you finer control of your drone. Tip number seven is to use cinematic mode. Like in tripod mode, your sensitivity is reduced and this flight mode really helps to capture those beautiful cinematic shots you're looking for. Keep in mind the braking distance is increased with cinematic mode, so you need to stop well in advance of any obstacles and potentially apply some manual braking. Tip number eight, use course lock. This makes it super easy to maneuver your drone because the controls remain the same regardless of which way your drone is facing. For example, if you have your drone facing north and you enable course lock, Forward on the right stick will always move your drone north. Right will move your drone east, down south, and left west. Not only does it make this easier for flying your drone, but it also makes it easier to get cool creative shots. For example, you can now fly in a straight direction while panning your camera, allowing you to get a nice shot of a subject or a cool reveal when coming around a corner. And tip number nine, the trick no one seems to be talking about, is to carry your drone instead of flying it. I know we just covered seven essential settings for flying indoors, along with eight additional tips and tricks in this video, but sometimes the situation just isn't optimal for flying. Not flying your drone indoors is the best way to keep it safe, and hand carrying it actually remains a great option for getting beautiful interior footage. The three axis gimbal still provides amazing stabilization and there are even accessories to make it easier to operate your drone in a handheld configuration. If you do decide to do this, make sure to take the propellers off so if the motors accidentally start, you are not injured by a spinning blade. Then simply fold up the drone, hold it in a way that is comfortable for you and hit record. So there you go, those are nine tips and tricks for flying indoors. Indoor flying remains a great way to get amazing footage for a variety of projects, including showing off equipment or machinery, showcasing the interior of a finished construction project, or even just getting beautiful footage of residential real estate properties. I'm curious to hear your thoughts though. Is it worth it? Will you be flying your drone inside, or will you be sticking to flying outdoors? Either way, I hope these tips and tricks helped. Like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson with Drone Genuity. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.